I'm going to read a book by a Wyoming author and illustrated by a Wyoming artist. It's called Rowdy Randy by Casey Day Rizla, illustrated by Zachary Pullen. And it's even signed. Ooh, I wonder what she's writing on. Rowdy Randy started the, her day before the rosy glow of dawn. She buzzed and she buzzed from dawn until dusk. Annoyance was her game and she played it nonstop. I'm the toughest cowgirl around, Randy boasted. She was a sly lone ranger and preferred to work alone. Target, straight ahead. Rowdy Randy swooped down and dove toward her first target. An unsuspecting furry bandit, Randy couldn't resist. The rascal's ears perked up. When it tried to nip her, Randy had to think again. Maybe it's time to rethink my sneaking ways. Then she laughed and boasted, <laughs> No one can match my stealthy moves. I'm the greatest outlaw, Randy said. Randy felt brazen from her first close call of the day. She zipped away to look for another target. She soon landed on a hilltop between two trees, but Randy didn't settle for long. At the sun's first peak of light started to show, her restless eyes saw everywhere. Buzz, and off she flew toward the shimmering shallows. Randy flew low and eyed a slippery scoundrel. The lively leaper launched right at her. Randy bucked left, then she bucked right, like a rodeo daredevil, narrowly escaping the cunning critter. Ha, she laughed. Thank you for the shower. Rowdy Randy was too tough for any tough day to get under her skin. Randy sat for a spell and dried her wings in the bright morning sun. Pondering her predicament, she said, A group of me is just what I need. And she buzzed off to find tenderfoot she could train. She spied a wild-looking bunch of bandits feasting up by the roadside. Is this the team of outlaws I've been looking for? She zipped up to him and stated haughtily, I am the Duchess. I am the toughest bronco buster around these parts. But the bald creatures ignored her and went back to their roadside chow. So much for camaraderie, Randy said, undeterred. Out west, a girl settles her own problems. Roundy Rowdy hitched a ride on a tumbleweed and traveled on. What's this, she said, spotting a spunky horned creature through the cloud of dust. Ah, oh, here's my chance to prove I'm the best buckaroo this side of Cheyenne. Randy swooped down and held tight for an eight-second ride. Yeehaw, she shouted back to the wind. I was born to buck. See that horny toad? That's a horny toad. Rowdy Randy was feeling fine. Well, I think I proved my rumbling rodeo ways. But had Randy finally met her match? Up ahead, a herd of shaggy beast grazed. She darted toward the head of the herd. Didn't even flinch. She boldly looked at the des dangerous desperado in the eyes and said, You gonna do something about it? The brute answered with a stare down. Randy was unshaken but zipped away, figuring she best not press her luck. There's a plenty more wild west to explore, Randy buzzed, weaving her way through the prairie grasses. She zipped to a quick stop when she heard a rattling sound that seemed to say, stay far away. Randy had heard many a tale of this deadly creature. 
This will be my greatest challenge yet. But all her wishing and buzzing only rustled up more of the creature's slithery friends. Stakes are high, Randy said. I'll rope them next time. And off she zipped. Those are rattlesnakes. Ooh. Driven by a fierce hunger and foolhardy pride, Rowdy Randy grew more adventurous, some say dangerous, with each encounter. This diminutive desperado had stirred up a heap of troubles along the way. Randy had riled up a whole herd of wild-eyed rascals. Legs and tails were everywhere. Randy hollered at the rising dust bowl. It's a full-blown stampede. These cows didn't like getting bit by that fly, did they? Woo, there she goes. Randy heard a whoa, whoa behind her. Fellow bronc busters, Randy said approvingly. They got grit and speed just like me. The Wranglers rode hard, commanding the whole stampede to a still. Rowdy Randy wiped her brow and declared her hard day's work done. I do believe I'll sit for a spot and cool my saddle, Randy said. And she strummed a ballad and gazed above the shining stars. She was just a lonely cowgirl with a heart so brave and true. She sang to her restless Roman spirit, if to nobody else. The cow camp seemed right peaceful now as Randy crooned. She had nearly lulled herself to sleep when a large leather glove came out of nowhere, was headed her way. Is this how it ends? There, looks like she got away riding on a jackalope. The end. <laughs>